Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project airlines ticket booking system or you can say airline reservation system or flight ticket booking system right. So I have developed this project in Android studio and uh, database we are using the MySQL database right and for Android studio development we are using Android uh, for Android development we are using Android studio and for connecting with MySQL database we have developed an API based system which we have written in PHP so because Android runs on the mobile and MySQL runs on the server, then you can't connect MySQL with Android directly. So we need some system which which behaves like an immediate between the Android application and the MySQL database, which we have written in the PHP, that is the API. Right. So all of the communication between the database and a Android we are doing through the API. Right. So uh, for uh, PHP version we are using PHP version 7.4 and MySQL version is 5.6 and for running the API you can use a XAMPP server or PHP based any type of server right which supports the Apache PHP and MySQL for Android application you can use Android Studio right so an Android Studio in Android Studio we have developed a customer panel right so let's start with the functionality go through that what are the features what are the modules available inside this project right so once you open this project in Android Studio, once you run it, so you can see, so I am running it again. So run it, you can use the emulator or you can use the mobile devices, which has the developer mode enabled, right? And you can test the project there, right? So it will show the splash screen. First of all, it has only and only customer panel. There is no admin panel available inside this project. So customer panel we have developed on the mobile side. If you need the admin panel, then we can develop the admin panel of the web app, right? And admin can manage each and every functionalities. So this is the splash form, right? It's saying that loading data, please wait, right? Then it will load the data and it will show you the details. So some banners are coming on the home page. You can see these banners are coming from the database. You can change the banner and uh, you can replace the banner right in the database. There is a banner, TBL underscore banner available in the database. You can change there, right? So let's start with the functionality go through. So once page load, you will get this navigation pen from here. You can see this is the home page. On home page, you are already there. Right? So this is not search, but this will be the search airlines. This is the my bookings from here. You can see all of the bookings, right? So you can see these are the bookings made by you because you have already logged in, right? If you click on that booking, then you will be able to see the details of that booking, right? Okay. So this is the booking section. I am showing you the different bookings. We are there will be the list of passengers, right? Okay, because this is the bookings, right? You can see the details list of passengers here. There is a one passenger here, right? Okay. Okay. So this is the my booking section, and this will display only if customer logins, right? The next one is uh, my profile. From here you can see the my profile right where you, you will be able to see your name email id and all right and then uh, i am going to use search vehicle that is a search flight right and here i am searching for uh, flight the delhi to so actually the emulator is working very slow right and uh, there okay so i because the routes are available here right so delhi to Gaya, right and once you click on the search it will show all of the flights which belongs to that route right so there are two flights going from delhi to Gaya. once you click on any of the flight it will show you all of the details right once you click on the book sheet then it will show you the passenger details where you can put your passenger right so here i am adding the passenger and the passenger is uh, adult and then it's very slow very very weird because i'm using okay and then it's a meal and then it's, it's 30 right and you can add passenger you can add any number of passenger right 
you can see the passenger it has added successfully in the list right and now i am going to add new passenger right so wait, wait let me uh, go on the uh, yes so here uh, i am going to add a new passenger like uh, rahu right and uh, it's a uh, adult again so what happening so emulator is working very slow really right and then the age is suppose i am adding the 10 right add passenger right so i think it will be it will have two passengers in the list right after adding this right so one is a rahul and second one is the atul right now i am going to make payment right so select c type i am choosing business booking date for which uh, i am booking so it's a key so i am choosing to today date total amount you need to pay 600 rupees and the amount and so you can enter your credit card details here so at the inter 16 credit card 16 digits so it's a dummy there is no need of credit card credit card details so once you click on that done it's saying that ticket booked successfully okay so once you click on the okay it will redact you the my booking sections here you can see the my booking section right here on the top bottom right you will be able to see your booking details right that's i think i clicked on the wrong section okay. so this is the last one right if i click on this then you will be able to see the passenger details so two passenger i have booked this, this is the passenger details right okay so now uh oh it's uh gone so let me open it again flight i think it's a flight uh search for flight uh, it's really very slow right so it will show you this is the flight booking uh, this one okay so it will show you again the page here this is this platform and then it will show you the home page right so this is the contactors right this is my profile contactors once you click on the contactors it will show you the uh, information where you can enter the text and add and it will be saved into the database right and then the this is the about section from where you will be able to see the about section right and this is the about of the flight this is the static information there is nothing dynamic on it okay so once i log out so you can see uh, this is the different menu my bookings my profile is showing here but if you log out then the menu will be changed because only the login user will be able to see their informations right so if i log in so there is no so this is the page where you will be landed if you don't have login then you can register from here or you can log in from the uh, from your existing user id and password Right. so these all functionalities we have developed inside this project as i told you earlier this is a mini project where a customer can book the flights added in the database right and this is a php api based system where we have uh, developed all of the apis in php the front end we have developed in uh, and android studio and the database we are using the as well right so if you need extra functionality if you need any enhancement in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much